Fresh, fresh, fresh. Wee, wee, wee. We're getting fresh servers, getting a chance at a fresh reset. We're starting over. We're going back to level one. Wrath of the Leech King's coming out. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping by the end of the video, I can share with you my plans for the next expansion, what I'm going to be doing during the pre-patch, and maybe in the comment section, you can tell me why you're rolling fresh Wrath of the Lich King servers or why you're going to continue to play on your existing account. So first things first, I want to share with you what I'm going to be giving up uh, by playing on these fresh Wrath of the Lich King servers. I just came back 10 weeks ago. I quit in phase one of TBC. Uh, to continue to play hardcore, you know, we did Road to Ragnaros on Season of Mastery. Uh, I've probably, the majority of my time spent since 2019 and Classic has come out, um, has been leveling and, you know, playing 1 to 60, really just going from experience to experience uh, with single characters. You know, I've, I've played this entire time, but I haven't stuck with the traditional normal servers from Phase 1 to Phase 6. You know, I, I never even raided Nax and Vanilla because I was busy playing hardcore. I quit the first week of AQ in, in Classic WoW, and I quit in Phase 1 of TPC um, to continue and go back and level. So, you know, before somebody says, well, yeah, it, it grazes fresh Andy. He's just going to quit in three months. The server's going to die in three months anyways. Uh, regardless of whether or not that's true, uh, the point is, I'm continuing to play Classic WoW. And I, I do think that going into Fresh Wrath of the Lich King, I have a chance to play throughout the entirety of this expansion. Uh, but first off, I want to share with you what I did in the last 10 weeks since I've come back. I have near pre-Sunwell Viskier. What you're looking at right now is my Slave Pins boosting set. I got my Hex Shrunken Head in like 13 ZA runs. That was super exciting. I got my Kazergal Shield. That was a big deal in my Mount Hygel run. Uh, but I got nearly every piece before Sunwell that I was looking for, uh, for the purpose of boosting or any type of raiding. And so I, I feel like I, I got a good fill on the rest of TBC, and I don't mind throwing all of this away. Uh, be, because I think generally as a character, or as a player, the way I play World of Warcraft is from experience to experience. You know, the last 10 weeks was great. I literally got my account ready. I bought four alt accounts. I boosted them from 63 to 70 in slave pins. I was ready to farm slave pins and farm 100,000, 200,000 gold to go into the next expansion. And, you know, fresh... Wrath got announced. We had a little bit of a change of plans, but this doesn't feel like time wasted in my eyes. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably rolling their own eyes right now and think I'm crazy, but uh, I really did. I enjoyed the last 10 weeks, and I'm looking forward to starting a new journey and experience on Fresh Wrath of the Lich King. And maybe one of the first things I want to... The most compelling reasons why I want to roll fresh is just to get a fresh restart, just to go back to the Stone Age, um, to walk around in the city, and you don't see double glaives on multiple characters while you're walking around. Uh, I, I don't have any problem with people having gear and double glaives and ashes of alar, you know, all these rare items. They they played the game and they worked towards them, but it's really exciting, you know, multiple uh rep farmed mounts, all the PVP mounts. That's going to be kind of a weird thing to restart. I mean, this stupid mount too. <laughs> the the phase hunter deluxe edition whatever the hell you buy. Even the Karazhan mount. Like, dude, I'm giving up this Kara mount. Uh, this Raven Lord mount right here, but it's going to be nice to have a server that doesn't have any existing progress on it, so that when you do see a Karazhan mount here, when you do see a Raven Lord, whenever you do see someone with glaives, even though it's old content, um, an Ashes of Alar mount, ZG mounts, uh, some of these social status items, they, they have a little bit more meaning and value behind them, and so I'm really looking forward to kind of standing out and having other players on the server stand out because it's a completely fresh experience, and that just brings value back to my time spent in the game and just the inherent value of the items that I farm. Another thing I'm looking forward to is a reset on gold. I was a little bit intimidated coming into these servers. Uh, the biggest gripe from people is... You know, bots and GDPs and RMT, and don't get me wrong, none of that's going to go away with fresh servers. But the best response to botting and RMT and people that participate in these actions and things that ultimately a lot of people, I think, agree make the servers worse or the player experience worse, the best solution is a fresh server. It, and it only subsides these problems for three months, six months at a time. Um, I don't really see any other solutions out there, but I'm really excited for a complete gold reset. Um, it's going to be nice that like just raw gold farms in Stratholme where you're making 200, 250 gold per hour. Uh, that's going to be one of the best gold farms at the beginning of a server. What are GDKPs going to look like in the first month where items are going for 500 gold or, you know, barely 500 gold. Uh, they're capping out at like 1k gold, 1500 gold. And so it'll be nice to, the, the raw gold farms will be relevant 
you know, just for the first couple months uh, until the economy just gets inflated to where those raw gold farms um, don't make as much value as joining these GDKPs that eventually overrun the servers. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the professions being reset, you know, the entire having new jewel crafters, new inscription. Is set. I'm glad um, that I might actually get into inscription farming and Dark Moon card greatness farming now that, you know, people don't have a bunch of pre-farmed materials going into the next expansion. So these Dark Moon card greatness are going to have a lot more value. All right, and I, I'm excited for the communities to get shaken up and split and new guilds and communities need to be created. And I'm... Um, I'm more so looking at like the GDKP communities and the discords that are going on. I, I think establishing those new GDKP communities um, will be really neat to be a part of and cool to join and see. I'm planning on hosting my own midday GDKPs um, instead of the evening time, so it'll be nice to have a fresh playing field um, to establish my own name and my own runs for that server. So now I want to talk about what my main content is going to be in Wrath of the Lich King. What am I planning to do in this 12 month, 18 month span of this expansion being out and starting over on a fresh account? I think that the future of Classic and the future of these WoW servers is gonna be re-rolling um, vanilla fresh servers, TBC, whether it's Cata, Mop, it, they'll do fresh Wrath servers again in the future. But I think that the way I'm gonna approach these games is how much content can I complete in one cycle? Uh, I, can I get all the achievements farmed in Wrath of the Lich King on a fresh account? Uh, can I get all the reputations done? Can I farm all the rare mounts? Uh, how lucky or unlucky can I get? Can I get a Thunder Fury on my Paladin uh, just for the transmog? During the pre-patch event, this time around in Wrath of the Lich King, can I get the Undead Tier 2 set? Can I get the Arcanite Ripper? You know, that might not be a... That this TBC pre-patch event won't be available on the next fresh Wrath of the Lich King that just goes straight 1 to 80. So this is a really unique time um, to play on this server. These are unique experiences and things um, that you're going to be able to do on this fresh Wrath that you won't be able to do, say, on the next fresh Wrath of the Lich King. Um, and so I am planning on farming all the achievements on a Paladin. Originally, I was going to do it on a Death Knight just to have my own mini fresh on these existing servers with everyone else because if I compare my achievements with another Death Knight, I know that we started at the same time. Uh, but now that we have our own servers in it, it sounds like they won't let um, people transfer in that didn't start on these fresh Wrath of Lich King servers transfer over. I think I'm just going to farm it on a Paladin, probably a character that I know I'm going to enjoy playing and prefer to play rather than just forcing myself to main a Death Knight. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to just rolling on a fresh and getting ahead on some of these feats of strength or getting ahead on some of these achievements like uh, getting the String of Thorn Veil Fishing Tournament 1 the first week at like level 45 as I'm leveling. You know, g getting the Arena Grandmaster 12 trinkets right off the bat. Uh, I'm looking forward to forming and creating my own GDKPs, right? Making my own name, uh, being a good host of GDKPs during the midday of the week, Monday through Friday, on like four or five characters. I think we're gonna try and create some type of achievement competition similar to what Stay Safe's doing right now. Um, there, there isn't very many completionist communities out there. Uh, we might do some type of mount off presentation, kind of like Asmongold does with his mount off streams um, with achievements and the achievement system. So that would be really neat. I'm excited that on this fresh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to roll Horde, um, and I'm going to get my Blood Elf Paladin, we're going to get the Arcane Torrent Racial, which I'm looking forward to. We might try and push um, DungeonCleave.com, this five-man speedrunning meta uh, for like heroic dungeons. I don't know if that'll be a hit or not, and maybe by the end of the, the expansion, I'll test my hand on PvP. Uh, since I'll be playing one of the more OP classes, maybe I can get carried by playing a Rep Pally, which would be, which would be cool in its own way, and there are some unique mounts that you get by... Uh, getting glad right so yeah maybe you'll need to find a fives team and get carried and get those specific mounts as well uh, but tell me what your thoughts are on fresh wrath of lich king whether or not you'll be playing it and hopefully you can join me on my live stream or follow this youtube series uh for our journey in this next expansion